Shaking War Fighter Nation. Today, we took a two man team out and did a search and recognition mission. So, my buddy and mentor, Scott Clark, CW2 Clark, Chief Clark calls me up and says, Hey, I got a guy. His name's Hank Robinson, and we should do a search and recognition on him because he's a high speed dude. Hank Robinson is a combat infantryman. He served in Afghanistan under OEF, and upon return, he and Chief Clark, uh, along with some others, helped uh, train troops and give them a better uh, scope of understanding of what they were getting into and what they were getting out of. So Hank, tell us who you are and what you got going on here in your shop. So my name is Hank Robinson. I did 10 years in the infantry. Um, and once I got out, I pretty much decided that I was going to go to welding school. When I was in welding school, I picked up the Dremel and just really found a, an artistic outlet that I didn't know I really had and just been grinding at it ever since. So I'm a multi-material engraver. I, I specifically focus on a lot of metal pieces. I do a lot in the automotive world and just kind of making one-of-a-kind engravings for anybody in any aspect of life. That's awesome. Well, take us around here and show us, uh, show us your shop if a little bit, if you don't mind. Yeah, definitely. Look at this stuff here. Yeah, what we got here is a 19 Ram that I'll be doing for SEMA this year. Uh, pretty much just doing engraving over the steel body. Then we're going to add a couple different paint textures, get a lift, wheels. Bumpers, uh, I'm engraving the bumpers right now. Almost see. So all this will be all this will be power coated over, so it'll be like a ghosted effect. And this is for the ram as well. Guys, this is true craftsmanship. This guy is killing it for the Warfighter Nation. These are the wheels yeah, for the so Ram? These be the wheels for the Ram. Which one of those took? So, I probably have about a day and a half on each of those. And on the mm. big 24 by 14s, I have probably about three and a half days on each. Wow. And I work like 16 hour days, probably. <laughs> you work till it's done, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Official engraver for Dremel, like the inventors of engraving. So, they uh, Dremel actually hit me up. Uh, I've been working with them for about five years now. Um, they saw some of the work that I did when I started engraving and then uh, invited me out to do a show. Started doing multiple shows with them a year and then it kind of just, you know, went from there, just building relationships and then it made, you know, made it official a couple years ago. So. Really? You did like the whole surface of the... I did the, almost like pretty much half the body all the way back, the wheels, the suspension, the bumpers, the grill, interior pieces, air tanks. And this is your wife's ride? Yeah, yeah. Wow, boy, you love that woman. I'll tell you what, man, because you don't you don't do this for somebody you're not real familiar with. Wow. Yeah, I know. So where'd you guys meet? Uh, mobilization training branch training troops for deploying to uh, theater here in Arizona. Excellent. And you're an Apache driver, and you're an infantryman. Very much so. Yes. What, did you guys meet at the DFAC or something? I mean, uh, those paths <laughs> rarely <so>. cross. <laughs> yeah, I was at the DFAC eating everything. He went and he didn't get anything. I never left. <laughs> no, um, we were both instructors and along after us. Right. We didn't want to see them have to go through the same thing that we did. We wanted a better process for them, so we volunteered to be instructors. Yep. Uh, pretty good time. Yes, exactly. Come on, get it done. Hank, you're a true craftsman, a rock solid professional, and I'm glad to call you our warfighter brother. This is for you, brother. Anyone can tie knots. What we do here is the art of spiritual warfare.